Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. In today's video, we're going to talk about how much Steph Curry plays like a my player. And we're also going to talk about how much I get torched on defense. It's going to make for a great video. Now, to start this game off, we're going to start it from the beginning, right from the tip. But I just want to know how did 2K get Steph Curry down so perfectly? Did he go to the studio? Did he get scanned mentally? Steph Curry, everything he does in real life, he does in a game. It's insane. Check out the nice little up and under move he puts on him right there. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, what do you mean he plays like a mob player? Check this out. I get the steal, right? First thing Curry does is run down court, not even playing a point guard position, and pulls up for three. Mind you, when he pulled up for three, he turned around like he always does in the NBA. Insane. Now, this little play that we're going to get right here, this is me. This is me getting torched on defense. Yeah, I told you all about how I get torched, right? So, Jeff Green passes it, right? Now, me thinking that we're supposed to switch, the switch doesn't happen. So, I end up getting torched, and Jeff Green has seven points. Now, that has been happening all game. Now, I know it's only about five minutes in the game, but it's been happening. And, oh, yeah, that has happened too. My teammates cannot finish layups. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if, you know, the higher our team chemistry gets, the worse we play. Kind of doesn't make any sense. I thought the coach liked me. I thought my teammates started liking me. Who knows? Now, it's 21-16, to 16, and I feel like I got to turn things around. So, I started doing what I know best, call pick and rolls because I can't call plays. So, now I come in with the left hand, miss, get my own rebound, put it back up, and I get the layup to go. Mind you, I dropped 47 the last game. That's great and all. Now, it's 29-29. I know I fast forward greatness. It's all right. Y'all going to get this work. Now, of course, they're still torching us. Now, they're on the 8-0 run. I don't know what happened. You know, first we got on a run, then they got on a run. Nobody knows. You know, I was out of the game. I was sitting on the bench. But now that I'm back, I'm putting the moves on like a cheesy little small forward at the rack. And I get the windmill to go. Yeah, man. Y'all seen all the cheesy moves. Your boy has cheese activated, man. At any given moment, I could turn up. Now, it's 36 to 33. We currently hold a nice little lead. Catch Smith with the pump fake, and I go in with the windmill. I, I told y'all, I'm loving these windmills, man. The windmills, they, the windmill should draw more fouls. That's what I believe. Like, even though his arm really didn't touch me, I think they should draw more fouls because you're in the air a little bit longer, it seems to me. Now, they get the possession off the tip. Don't know how, but I thought Livingston was a superior player. Now, they get the layup to go. It's all right. You know, it's all right. We still got the lead. We're still going to hold on to it. But the things that happen on offense, man, I don't know why, but it seems like I've been running like a point forward role lately. And I don't know why I can't just start running it from the actual initial inbound. But, hey, why not another windmill for you guys? Why not? Why not? I just think that, you know, the game should go back to picking – what your play style is like all around you know uh, athletic shooter stuff like that because i want to be a point forward with the stat sheet stuffer next season and i would love it if i had that option now i do a little spin move here because i want to get david lee involved in the game and that's a nice alley-oop dunk right there what y'all know about david lee yeah remember the guy that just showed up into the playoffs and now that he's been playing they've gotten two wins yeah i just wanted to point that out um good day clock is running down you already know what time it is man I throw it up, and of course, you know, it rumbles in just enough for the shooters roll, baby. I couldn't trust nobody else with that shot. I had to take that shot. It's only right. <laughs> now, now, back in the game, it's 56 to 51. And I told you guys, man, I'm running that little bit of point forward here. Now, I noticed that a few people are opening and they want me to call plays, but I'm trying to get this spin king, so everything is about these spin moves. Watch me work. Watch me work. I don't care. I'm just throwing it up. I don't care. We get the rebound and whoa. Man, get off him. Whoa, whoa. Not worth it, man. Let it go. Nah, man. That was a cheap shot. He wasn't even going for the ball, let alone looking at it. But we need you, man. You retaliate, you're the one gets tossed. You got to chill. I'm good. I'm good. All right. One more time and you're done. You heard me? All right. So, 2K tried to reenact like a hard foul, but it looked like 
uh, Gasol was the one that almost got killed. But it's all right, you know. I like I like little things that happen in the NBA like that. You know, they try to give it a little bit more realism. We call the double team here. He kicks it out to Courtney Lee. Now Courtney Lee has been cooking as well. I ain't gonna hold you, but Conley. Oh my God, you would think it's what was Steph Curry from three? Yo, listen, I'm gonna tell y'all now. Conley been spazzing. Steph been spazzing. Steph mess around drop 40 tonight. That's how crazy it's been getting. But Randolph goes in the paint, kicks it out. You know what I'm saying? I almost got set up for that play right there. But Courtney Lee, remember I told y'all he was cooking? These dudes do not miss, man. Pass forward, man. Blame it on pass forward, man. Nobody misses anymore. I catch the pass, give a little pump fake, drive baseline. I notice I got the smaller guy on me, but the double team is coming. So guess what? I cook it out to the chef. I said I cook it out. I meant to say I kick it out to the chef so he can cook. 69-72. This is a tight game. I will let you guys know that now. And I like the way that Memphis actually calls plays, man. Usually when I'm playing on Hall of Fame, the players don't call plays. They just hit all types of shots. But Memphis is like the Spurs, man. They call the plays. They set them up nice. And I could kind of believe them making those shots. Now, I put my hands up. Steph Curry gets the rock. He slow bops it, passes it to me. And I throw the alley-oop, the green. Luckily, he jumped for it. You know, I was kind of scared because we was kind of too close. But I don't know why I throw alley-oops like that, yo. I'm not a point guard. I should just, you know, scoop scoop throw it or something like that. I don't know. But call a nice little screen plays here. I don't want to follow the blue circle no more, man. I want to do my own thing. So I get him with the pump fake. See the double team coming. Pass it off to the chef. And, yo, I'm telling y'all, man, that was a foul. Did you not see the way that man landed? That man landed like he got hit. It's all good. Smith to the rack, gets the deuce over three players. It is what it is, man. Now, we're still up seven, you know, still holding on to a nice little lead here. I go to my blue spot, making sure that I'm in the game. Now, I don't know what Steph is doing here. Steph just wants to do him. He passes it to me, pump fake, drive baseline, and woo! <laughs> the posterizers is mean with these small forwards, man. Woo! If I had that posterizer badge, ooh! Mm, mm, mm. Now, Smith, I don't know why he's trying to post me up, but this is all good. I'm going to give him that little bit of bruiser right there. Now, Kufus, he passes it back. They're doing all these fake passes, ball movements, all of that. Now, Courtney Lee for three? Yeah, by the way, he's cooking, like I told you guys. He has 20 points, by the way. Yeah, they bring the game within single digits a while back. Now they're within six. So, you know, you got to try to do something here. Now they pass it, and I don't know how Bogut got it, but it's all good because now I have it. Hit him with a nice little cross. Back up. Try to open some space. Get a nice spin move going. Kick it out to my man, Chef Curry, for three. You know what it is, man. Back up nine. Steph Curry got 30. He's 12 for 19, by the way. Steph Curry be freaking cooking on this game, man. That's why I had to come to a cheesy team. Y'all didn't understand. Y'all didn't understand at all. It had to be done. Now, going back up against Jeff Green again, 79 overall. And I'm trying to play the inbounds. Woo! Let's go. Woo! Y'all peeped that yawn, though. That yawn was amazing. But did you see the step back three? Perfect relax with the Kobe Bryant jump shot. Yeah, man, I'm telling y'all, man, I can get just as cheesy as anybody else. I know a lot of people want me to bring this player to the wreck or to the park. I'm thinking about it, man. I'm thinking about it because I tried to transfer the data to iPod King Carter TV, and it didn't work because I was going to play with him with my All-Star 3 account. But I may have to just play with him with iPod King Carter. And did y'all see that poster? Ah! Ah! No, I'm just playing. <laughs> now, it's 15.5 left. And Iguodala missed four straight free throws, by the way. I just want to let everybody know. The same thing he did in last night's game, he's doing here. He missed four free throws straight. And guess what? They're within three with 5.6 left. So guess what I do? I tell Steph, give it a goddamn ball, boy. Let me put these nails in a coffin. You got to let me do it. Now, I am cheating almost with a triple-double, but I did not get it tonight. So, all right, they're cheering MVP for your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy about it. Just to update everybody as well.
Kobe Bryant jump shot and free throw has been equipped and will not be unequipped. So you can expect all Kobe from him. The MVP chants are amazing, by the way. There goes that perfect release. It's a little delayed, man, with this patch four. A little delayed on the perfect release, but I get it to fall. Now I'm still guarding Jeff Green. And of course, with 3.4 seconds left, this game is over. And Conley almost hit that three. Whew, we almost won by only two points. But we pull it out with five points. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. I know it was an amazing game. It's good to go up against teams that give me a run for my money on Hall of Fame. It's not many of them, man. Ever since Patch 4 came out, it seemed like, you know, we could just blow teams out. And I know I'm still not used to playing a small forward role because I've been playing point guard all year long. But I'm starting to get used to it, man. And I will have to say, this player does some amazing things when I start moving that analog stick, pulling out them in and out dribbles and spin moves and double crosses and gathers. Oh, my God. Stashy Sever might have to hit the wreck, man. I'm, I'm just going to have to say that here. I don't know, man. Let me know inside the comment section, man. Should the Stashy Stuffer hit the wreck? Please let me know because he been doing some amazing things on the court offline. So I want to know if I can try to reciprocate that online. But here goes your Hall of Fame verification. You know, everybody want to see that, man. I, I be trying to let y'all know I play on it, but don't nobody believe me unless I put it in the video. Ugh. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I'm about to go do my thing at E3, man. I'll holla at y'all in the next video. Peace.